let's take a look at what's going on in the world now. Israel is now allowing same-sex couples and single men to become parents through surrogacy within the country, upholding a Supreme Court ruling to end the ban on Tuesday. Calling it a historic day for the LGBTQ struggle in Israel, the country's health minister announced the lifting of restrictions, granting equal access for all to surrogate pregnancy. The move comes as Israel's LGBTQ community had for years demanded to be allowed to pursue surrogacy, which is already available for heterosexual couples as well as single women. The nation's Supreme Court last July ruled that the surrogacy ban for same-sex couples and single men violated their rights and called for the lifting of the ban within six months. The rule will come into effect starting January 11th. Chinese President Xi Jinping on Tuesday inspected preparations for the upcoming 2022 Beijing Winter Olympic and Paralympic Games. Xi visited venues such as the National Speed Skating Oval, the main media center, and the Athletes Village. However, while the Chinese president is often seen without a mask to show China's quarantine achievements during official visits, he was seen wearing a mask during this recent visit. Pundits say Xi wearing a face mask this time is a move to show that China is following a strict COVID-19 prevention policy in preparation for the international sporting event. During his visit, Xi also extended New Year greetings to athletes, coaches, volunteers and other staff members for the Winter Games. All across Europe, tattoo artists on Tuesday protested an EU ban that came into force limiting the use of thousands of chemicals, effectively banning many of the most widely used inks. According to the EU, the chemicals are hazardous, which some link to cancer, reproductive difficulties and skin irritations. Certain chemicals contained in tattoo ink can uh, pose danger for the human health. So the Commission has adopted restriction of certain dangerous chemicals which are contained in uh, mixtures of tattoo ink. Uh, and those chemicals can be cancerogenic, mutagenic, uh, reprotoxic or cause allergies uh, to the skin. So they could really harm uh, the citizens. However, tattoo RSA alternatives to the inks do not yet exist or are in short supply, dealing a massive blow to an industry that has already been hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic. The European Commission argues that manufacturers and artists had a year from when the rules were adopted to prepare for the changes, adding alternative inks do exist. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.